children's liturgy for October 24th from our Sunday Missal. Today's reading is from the book of Mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 52. The Lord be with you and you would respond and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many sternly ordered him to be quiet, but he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Call him here. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Then Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, My teacher, let me see again. Jesus said to him, Go, your faith has made you well. Immediately, the man regained his sight and followed Jesus on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Taking a little time and reflecting on this passage, I made a few notes. Some of the words that really popped out for me were, Have mercy on me, Bartimaeus said to Jesus. What do you think he was asking for when he said those words? Have mercy. What does mercy mean? It means showing kind and forgiving treatment to someone who has done wrong. So the blind man is admitting that he is a sinner. He is trying to repent. Bartimaeus then calls to Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. If you think about what he's saying, he calls Jesus son of David. What does that mean? During the time of Jesus, there were prophecies, prophecies that the Messiah would come from the line of David. David was a king that was anointed way before Jesus' time. And when Bartimaeus calls out to Jesus saying son of David, he is acknowledging that Jesus is the Messiah come to save them all. Jesus stood still and said, call him here. So he called Bartimaeus over to him. And then he says, what do you want me to do for you? If we think about that line, what do you want me to do for you? It's very hard sometimes to put ourselves out there and do things for others. If there's anything that Jesus teaches us, it's that we are put on this earth to help each other out, to help others in need. And Jesus saw that this man was in need. So then Bartimaeus replies, teacher, let me see again. If we break this up a little bit and think about why did Bartimaeus call Jesus teacher? we see that Bartimaeus wants to learn from Jesus. He wants to follow him. He asks Jesus to cure his blindness so that he can see again through a new perspective, through a perspective from Jesus's teachings. 
So Jesus, knowing Bartimaeus' heart, tells him to go, that because he sees the purity in his heart, he heals him. He also reminds him that it was his faith that healed him, his faith that Jesus was the Messiah. So then Bartimaeus goes on to follow Jesus. How wonderful it is to have such an example of faith and forgiveness. Jesus is the perfect example of love, the kind of love that we receive from a parent. Let us be thankful for our parents because they are examples of how to live a loving life. Think of how many times you have asked your parents for something and how hard they try to give you what you've asked for. Here is a little worship music to celebrate how wonderful Jesus is. <laughs> 